This is WCPO 9 News. This year, there's a new safety requirement for Kentucky schools. Each campus must now have its own school resource officer. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Oddley went to Newport High School to explain why not every district is ready. School resource officers, also known as SROs, are armed guards on campuses. Newport Independent has had them for years, but right now a lot of other districts are struggling to find the officers they need. It's not all law enforcement. Majority of it is being a mentor, being an educator, and then being that law enforcement officer. Armed guards on every campus. That's a new requirement for Kentucky schools now in effect. I think it's been with in the last two or three years that we've had one in every campus. Newport Independent Schools already has school resource officers across all campuses. Superintendent Tony Watts says it adds protection against the threat of school shootings. It's good to have an officer on campus to, you know, sometimes eliminate that threat. Depending on what's going on, then they are to, you know, run to it. But not every district has had luck filling spots. The job's been posted twice now for a total of two months and we don't have any applicants yet. Not one qualified applicant. That's just for one officer. Covington needs seven, but right now they don't have funding for the other six. Deputy or a, a police officer costs somewhere around 80,000 uh, between equipment and salary and benefits and everything in total. That would be a significant portion of any district's budget. Gibbon Brock says the district wants to comply, but thinks it It'll take time. Districts face similar challenges statewide. Majority of it is funding and manpower. Those roadblocks let districts opt out of an SRO requirement set back in 2019. Then officers were only required on campuses that could get and pay for them. This law eliminates the loophole. They're a resource for the community. They're a resource for our kids. And ultimately, they're a protector, a deterrent of folks that want to come in and do bad things in our schools. Districts unable to comply do have to work with the state to come up with a plan. Wilcox tells me right now it's really hard to say how many SROs are still missing statewide. His office is working to collect that data now. They plan to release a report later this month that should have some of those details. For now, in Newport, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.